Hey everybody, Jordan with Iron and Grit here. And in this podcast, I want to share some practical tips that I've used to gain back more time in a day. And with that extra time that I have, I'm able to get to the gym and still get everything else taken care of that I need to take care of. So you're going to want to check this one out. Listen closely. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to get a hold of me at ironandgrit.com. Also, just want to let you know that the new merchandise has dropped on ironandgrit.net. I've got some hoodies. I've got some snapback hats. I've got some short sleeve shirts, some long sleeve shirts, some tank tops. Anything that you want, go ahead and check it out. Um, I appreciate any support. I tried to design these in a way that looked good and also picked fit form-fitting clothes that were super comfortable and also were stylish. So let me know what you think. Go ahead and pick up a shirt or a hat, and I will talk to you soon, and I hope you enjoy the podcast. Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever it is that you're listening to this podcast. Uh, It's morning for me. It's a little after 5 a.m. I am driving to the gym again. Surprise, it's a Tuesday morning. Um, Today, I wanted to talk about how to make time to go to the gym. Um, a, A big drawback or a big item that holds people back when it comes to getting fit and getting in the gym is finding the time to actually work out or finding the time to go to the gym. And if you're paying attention, I really said two different things there. I said finding time to work out and finding time to go to the gym. And we'll take a look at both of them. First of all, you don't have to go to the gym to work out. It helps. I think the best workouts are going to happen when you do go to a gym to thrash some iron or use the equipment, but you do not need a gym to work out. There's plenty of other ways that you can work out and have fun doing it that don't involve weights in the gym. That's just, weights in the gym is just my preference when it comes to working out because to me, that's fun. So I'm going to hear people talk about their responsibilities and how busy they are everybody is busy but I'm sure that you could find an extra hour to two hours every single day you probably know where I'm going with this already if you cut out other items throughout your day that were unproductive and maybe not even that fulfilling so things like Netflix things like reddit or the internet time for me personally that's what this is what I have done I used to binge watch on Netflix. I used to scroll Reddit for hours, just looking at random pages and random stuff that looked cool, but didn't really do anything for me. Scroll on Instagram. I would just mindlessly scroll and like stuff and just search around. I, I even got wrapped up in this weird conspiracy theory for a while and jumped on a rabbit hole with that. It's just crazy. The stuff that you can get hooked on um, when you're exposed to this and you don't have any parameters in place to keep you on track and to keep you from going down one of those sad rabbit holes. Uh, Video games was another big one for me. Um, No longer play video games that often. I mean, I might get an hour or two every couple of months to where I can play. And I play the shit out of it during that time. <laughs> um, let's see. Sports games. I mean, that's not even a question. Dude, I, don't, I haven't watched a full football game on TV since, I mean, maybe the Super Bowl. I might watch one full game, one competitive sports game a year. And that's that's going to be the Super Bowl every year. I'll, I'll probably watch that. And I think I did the past couple of years at least. But... Other than that, never watched a full football game. Never even, I don't even have cable at my house. Um, I don't have cable. I, I have a TV that I hook up my PlayStation 4 to, and then I buy games for it. And they sit there in the cellophane wrapper because 
I just don't have time to play them. You know, between everybody's busy. Is my point. Everybody, everybody. Oh, that's not my point. The point is, there's lots of things that I personally did that, first of all, weren't really benefiting me and my outcome and where I want to go in life. And they were essentially just wasting time. That's time that I could spend in the gym. That's time that I could spend building up my business and building up my presence and building up my blog and building the Iron and Grit brand. But instead, I was dinking around on Fortnite with people half my age and getting mad because they were kicking my ass. So I don't do that anymore. I'm more of a refined adult. I go to the gym, I work my job, and I'm building my business. And on top of that, now that we got the, the, the time wasters out of the way, you know, then there's the other responsibilities and, and life stuff that you have to do. And, you know, these are the obvious ones. You got to eat, you got to sleep, <clears throat> you got to work, you've got your relationships, you've got your family, you got your house, you've got to do your upkeep, you got to do your chores, keep your place clean, you can't live in filth. And then uh, the extra things that kind of come out, come up or spring out because of that, um, you know, family events, family occasions, extracurriculars with work, um, maybe something that happens once a year. And then, uh, you know, a, a social outing, maybe you go to a tailgate on the weekends or, or you know, you, you know, you got to have friends too. You got to be social. You got to hang out with them. So calendar fills up pretty quick. You're lucky to get any white space on there. So I understand it. Everybody's busy, but it's funny because the busiest people always find time to work out. And you'll notice that the busiest people always find time to work out. And that's because they have their priorities in order. They have their priorities straight. They realize that getting to the gym is a way to it's a twofold benefit. It's a way to blow off steam from their high paced, stressful lives. And it's a way to perform optimally. So if you're going, if you're running on all cylinders, you better keep your gear, your body, your vessel in great shape. Otherwise you're going to burn out. You're going to crash and burn. So you got to keep it tough. Got to have a strong constitution. You got to keep yourself healthy and you got to keep your mind sharp. So you need to find that time to work out, work out, working out. Yeah, it can feel like a chore sometimes, but you got to do it. It's something, it's like sharpening the saw. It's like sharpening your ax. It's going to make everything that you do better. And it's going to keep you in commission longer. So it's going to overall make you more productive. If you're working out, if you're lifting, if you're running, it's going to build up your endurance. It's going to build up your resilience and you're going, it's going to be time well spent. So right now you can take a look on your Instagram app. If you do the Instagram thing and over a billion people in this world do, and there's nothing wrong with Instagram. I think it's great in some ways, in other ways, not so much. But you can see your usage time. You can see how long you've been on Instagram. You can see how long you spend on there per day. And I think mine was over 30 minutes. And when I saw that, I was like, shit, that's half my workout. Then there's nothing productive that I've added. I've consumed all of this content. And most of it, I'm not going to tell my grandkids about it. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a time waster. So as soon as I realized that, I cut that shit out. Um, Another thing that you can do to make your phone less fun to look at and uh, make yourself less willing to like it is to put it to grayscale. So just, you can triple tap the main home button. At least I've got an iPhone 6. So it's an older version, but it works for what I need it. Uh, just triple tap the main button on the home screen and I have it 
hot keyed essentially to where it turns to grayscale and it makes your phone look ugly and less appealing. So you won't want to look at it as much. So you can do that to try to break any addiction you might have to your cell phone. And you'll be surprised. You'll grab your phone and then instead of like wasting 20 minutes on it, you might spend 20 seconds on it because it's not that fun to look at because it's all gray and it doesn't have like the bright, beautiful colors and, and artistic look to it like it had when it was, uh, you know, when you had that retina display. So that's one thing that you can try. I've had success with it. Um, if you're still having trouble finding time to, to get to the gym, let's say, wake up early. Um, like I got to start working at seven. I woke up at four 30 so I can get to the gym at five 15. I'm actually in the parking lot right now talking to you. Uh, so that I can get my workout in, I can feel good about it, and then I can get primed and ready for the day, get my blood pumping, get my mind sharp and focused, get my metabolism going, uh, so I can hit the ground running when I do start working today. So what did I give up? Um, well, I went to bed early. I think I was in bed laying down by like 9. I was probably sleeping by 9.30, and uh, woke up early. Even though it kind of sucked and it was hard to get up, I got up. Um, and it's just something that once you're in a groove and once you kind of realize the benefit that you're seeing from it, it does become easier. Um, these podcasts are exciting. I really enjoyed these podcasts. So in order for me to find time to get these podcasts to you uh, and to have the energy to do it, I need to do it first thing in the morning. So that's been kind of like a little reward for waking up every morning is getting to this podcast. So I'm really enjoying it and I like talking about this stuff. So that's been getting me out of bed without hitting the snooze button, which is helpful. Um, Another thing, uh, a lot of people aren't going to agree with this and, you know, you shouldn't have to. It's just the thing. I don't eat breakfast in the morning, um, so I'm just skipping breakfast so so I can get to the gym faster. And then I'll probably eat something really quick when I get home from the gym. And it might be more like a brunch time meal. And sometimes I just won't eat until lunch. Um, I try not to do that though. I try to get some eggs in my system, you know, between seven and nine in the morning, depending on how my morning and schedule looks. So just keep that in mind. Just, um, set all your clothes out the day before when you're going to go to the gym the next morning. That's what I do. It's a huge time saver because the main thing, your main sole purpose should be get out the door in in the morning when you wake up because you're going to be tired. You're going to be groggy. It's to get up and just get out the door. The more time that you spend getting yourself together, the more you're going to drag ass and have that internal debate with yourself, why the hell am I doing this? Or you're going to come up with excuses to slow yourself down and basically just postpone the inevitable of getting the gym. And it's going to be a huge waste of time and you should have been in the gym already, but instead you're still looking for a pair of matching socks. Don't do that shit. Set everything out, fold it nicely on top of your dresser, underwear, shorts, workout shirt, um, extra clothes, pants, shoes, if you, you know, if it's if it, whatever, just get them out and then just immediately get up from bed. I slam a big mason jar full of water that's on my nightstand. So I'm hydrated. I weigh myself and then I go put on, I take a leak, weigh myself and then I put on my clothes and then I get out the door and I talk to you guys. That's it. Otherwise it's, it's too, it's too hard. I'll, can, I'll lay back in bed because it's, it's, it's like, it's so alluring and it's cold in Michigan. It's only 27 degrees when I woke up this morning or 22 degrees when I woke up this morning and that bed and the heating blanket, it was calling for me, but I couldn't even look at it. You just turn your back on it as soon as your feet hit the floor and you go and you take care of business. So other ways that you can find time to work out. If you can't make it to the gym, you don't need a gym. If you got arms, do some push ups. Buy some dumbbells off Amazon. They'll be there at your house in two days. You can do everything with a dumbbell. You can do squats. You can do lateral raises. You can do presses. You can do rows. Wake up. First thing in the morning, get on the floor, do some push-ups, do some crunches, do some squats, 
go for a jog around the block, do that every single day. It takes 20, 30 minutes. Your body will thank you. Your mind will thank you. Your wife, your lover will thank you. Your kids will thank you. Your grandkids will thank you. Just do it every day. The progress will come, I assure you. And anything that you make time for and prioritize, uh, you'll, you'll see the benefit from that. So I hope this was helpful uh, to those of you out there that may have been struggling to find some time to actually get in the gym or to work out. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment either here or on ironandgrit.com or get a hold of me on my Instagram. Handle is at ironandgrit. Um, please rate this five stars for those of you listening on iTunes um, or give it a heart if you're on SoundCloud. Check out my blog. Um, get involved in the conversation. Ironandgrit.com. I have a lot of workout programs. have a lot of different diets you can try. Um, stuff like that. So if you're interested in, in freshening up your routine and learning more about uh, physical culture and uh, training with weights, Iron and Grit is for you. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I hope that you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.